I recently watched the second Violet Evergarden film that just came out in cinemas, and as I expected it had its fair share of sad moments, while helping to find a nice conclusion to Violet's character arc. However, there is one thing that I began to notice while watching the film, and that is that I did not feel sad while watching Violet's personal story, even though it is as tragic as the other events in the anime. This does not mean what happened to her was not sad and tear-inducing, but it just did not match the standard of the episodic B-plots that she partakes in. So after thinking about it for a while, I came up with the reason why Violet's story is not as emotional as the episodic stories. And that is simplicity. So what do I mean when I talk about simplicity? Well, it is that the side characters that we are meant to empathise with all have simple backgrounds and motivations. An easy example being in episode 7, where the playwright is in despair that his daughter has died and is struggling to get over her. This is an extremely simple emotional beat that anyone can understand that the idea that someone you love has died through something that is not your fault and who you want to spend a lot more time with. It is something that will sadly affect nearly everyone at some point, so anyone can feel empathy for that, even if they have yet to experience that same pain in real life. The simplicity of that situation is that they do not dwell heavily into describing his character, apart from his motivations and necessary plot points, and even then they don't talk about anything that could be seen to be controversial or that could make you lose empathy in the character. This makes the characters themselves very one-dimensional, in the sense that they could just be cardboard cutouts of their motivations written directly on them. Yet, yeah, thanks to the amazing storytelling, music, and breathtaking animations, they come off as far more real than they realistically should. Whereas for Violet Evergarden, the character you spend most of your time with during the film and anime, who, as you'd expect, gets far more character development than the one of episodic characters, there's just not the same emotional resonance due to her increased complexity as, at the start of the anime, she is a literal blank slate of a character, with no emotions or real drive. However, over time, more and more of her past is revealed, along with her attachment to Gilbert and her personal obsession surrounding him. However, in the movie, this becomes a real problem, and I would say undermines the viewer's empathy towards Violet. Now, spoiler warning as we're about to talk about the new film. Violet's story, in the film, did not make me sad because Gilbert who she is obsessed with, makes decisions that have no basis in the real world. So, to start with, he survives being mortally wounded during a firefight, along with him losing his right eye and left arm. Then, to further cement his death, a building collapses on him and explodes after being shelled. He is then taken to a hospital and tells no one of his identity and background despite his uniform giving away what country he is from. He then leaves and moves to a random island far away from home and never tells his family about him being alive, even skipping his mother's funeral. Now, I know in the light novels this is different compared to the film, but the anime is the form of media that most people have experience with the series with, and in the anime it comes off as far too outlandish for it to be taken seriously, even with the wonderful animation and music by Kyoto Animation. Cementing the idea that to make a scene sad, you need to keep it as simple as possible, as the events that are drowned in information ultimately lose that necessary and empathetic touch to move the viewer. However, this could just be one of those issues similar to Damachi Arrow of Orion, where it is a movie that requires you to be in a relationship, or to have a long-term relationship, to understand the emotional depth that the film is trying to portray. And, as I can tell by the feedback to that video, I was definitely in the minority who did not like the film. Nonetheless, an easy counter-argument to this is that the reason why Violet Evergarden resonates with so many people is because the scenes resonate with the many calling moments you will feel at some point in life. Whereas not many people can associate with someone telling you that they love you, followed by them faking their death and running away, with them later attempting to avoid you for the rest of their lives. It is just not something that usually happens to most people, drastically diluting its emotional impact when compared to the other depressingly realised moments in Violet Evergarden. And that is the key reason why Violet's story is not sad, as you cannot make an overtly complicated story sad, as less people will be able to see themselves experiencing something similar in their lives, meaning that you are far less likely to be as empathetic towards something outlandish than you would be compared to something simple. And that is for many people why the simplicity of the episodic B-plots make them sad as you can only really truly empathise with something if you can actually understand it.